ट्रीट हो It's everywhere. History. Not this again. No, that's why they remind me of Maggie. <laughs> They're so rude. A goose eat them. A goose eat them. Probably. You, did, you spat it out. This is not good. This can't be good. You want this bag? Huh? Oh my god, I'm scared. Don't touch me. Oh, this is a bad idea. Yes, it is. <laughs> Get goose so hard. Eat your finger. You would. I'm glad that a year later, or two years later maybe, the hoops are suddenly getting a little bit more appreciation lately. Look how pretty he is. I'm actually starting to run out of washi tape. <laughs> I didn't think it would ever happen, but it did. So what that means, I get to get more. I don't know what to do with this one. <laughs> it's a bit big and not that great. I don't know what I'm going to get next. I'm going to get really excited about this. The struggle continues with this um, thing. Having like multiple different types of paper is kind of uh, fun in theory and then you go to use your journal and it's just like I feel too intimidated to use it. Um, which is silly. And I kept thinking um, well colored paper like this would be perfect for pencil crayon. And so I figured I shouldn't wait to have ideas or to have some kind of specific thing to draw on these papers. I should just limit the medium to the paper and then just go with it. So I used pencil crayon to sketch out this dream um, landscape. So more pencil crayon on this side, I guess. And I guess vellum is kind of limited in what I can do with it as well. But I guess it would be great for writing notes or scribbling thumbnails or something. That would be nice. And then I can go back to using watercolor on all of these type of things. I just, I really need to start getting into the feel of this particular sketchbook. Whenever I feel like I want to just sketch something really quick or write a note or plan something out, I'm just like, I can't use that in this journal. It would be such a waste of nice paper, but you know, I still I have all this vellum to use. It's perfect for stuff like that. I can't paint on vellum that much. Because it will, like I think I put something wet on this page and so it's like all crinkly now. I think it was like a glass of water, I just put it on there. That's the side effect of like having the couch next to my workspace. Is that It's also an end table. Because you know how when you use lots of acrylic paint and things inside your sketchbook and the pages stick together? So if I'm like sitting, leaning on this book, or if I just have it sitting here, it will stick to the table and it will stick to other books if I have it on the shelf. That's kind of annoying, especially if I'm like using the book um, like a ring bound, if I'm holding it like this, for example, you know, like sometimes I'll do that or because if, if I'm sitting on a desk and, you know, I want to just like have a good sturdy back to it, I could just fold it all around, but then the covers stick together. <laughs> so. So I might have to address that someday. 
not right now. I have a lot of things that I kind of want to get done. I'll show you some things that I got from Daiso yesterday. I got, um, whoa, that's noisy. I got this. I think it's like seaweed chips that are like battered, maybe, with something. Tempera seaweed. I had like one yesterday. It's good. So these taste very much like, um, you ever do that thing when you're a kid where you take a pack of ramen noodles, like flavored noodles, and then you just smash it up in the bag and eat them raw? <laughs> After you put the salt pack on it, it tastes like that. Except with a very strong seaweed aftertaste. Yeah, it tastes like almost exactly like that. It's good. I got a new pento box. I actually really, really like using boxes. Like, um, I had this one. I think I got from, like, Superstore or something. It's, it's had better days. But it kind of has this nice divider, which I love. And it's a good size. It's pretty. Um, this one has two pieces. So, like, there's the bottom and then there's the top. There's no dividers, but the whole thing itself is, I guess, a divider, so. Hopefully, I can microwave things in this. Sometimes I ruin my boxes when I put them in the microwave. I don't know, I just, I really like using these a lot better when I'm not using, if I'm not taking just one food item, I like to have dividers and stuff. I got this pouch, which would be cool to put your lunch in. It's got a gusset. I got some of these. Don't put too much on. Put your sauces and things inside this for your like rice and uh, uh, salad. Salad dressing go can go in there really nice. What else do I use that for? <clears throat> Not very much. <laughs> Sometimes I use it to take water with me um, when I'm painting outdoors. I got um, gift wrap. I love the gift wrapping station so much. This one also has a gusset, because I usually make cookies every year, so I thought it'd be nice to have nice bags for that. I got Gudetama candy. Some kind of hard candy. I don't know anything. <laughs> I can't see. It says apple on it, so I'm guessing it's apple, and he's, a, he's got a cute butt. And uh, he's an egg. I'm probably going to give him to somebody. This is the only, only ink pen that they had. <clears throat> Brush pen that they had at Daiso when I was there. They usually have more, but I guess everyone's been buying them. <laughs> this is not even the one that I bought, so I hope it's still good, but I got more envelopes so I can mail things in nice envelopes instead of just plain envelopes. I was hoping that they would have something more exciting, but um, with the Canada Post, they do have um, mailing guidelines, and so things that are like busy patterns and stuff, I think you can technically mail it, but it I wouldn't want it, want to because I don't want it to like get lost inside of a machine because the machine won't be able to read the address if there's patterns all over and and I don't want I didn't want to risk it. So the best I could do is brown. I think that's technically it. <laughs> Cuz I bought I bought two bentos, so So yeah. Good day. I spent a lot longer in there than I expected. And I think I could have bought a whole lot more things, but I did not. I decided to bring in my shamrock because I uh, came to like it very much so. Even though it looks kind of gangly and sick. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to gather these up because I don't want them hanging off the edge and then falling off as they die because the cats... It's not good for cats. It's actually more or less a toxic plant. So I want to control your dropping here. I'm kind of surprised that this thing lived all year, because... Damn it, there's some leaves in there. <laughs> I'll fix it in a minute. Because, yeah, I mean, it's a bit crowded for sure. 
I'll have to repot this in the spring, but if it survives. Or apparently it doesn't like freezing weather, so at the very last minute I brought it in. It's probably not going to like it in here at all. Let me fix this leaf thing. Instead of doing a bunch of art stuff, I spent the entire afternoon cleaning. Uh, so, um, one of the things is I had a bunch of IKEA, you know, those frameless clip-on photo frames that um, didn't work because the clips don't fit. They just don't. So I think one had clips still attached to it. Put that in the giveaway pile, and I threw away all the cardboard. And I was gonna toss or do something with these, but I don't know if I want to get rid of... Okay, this is heavy. I don't know if I really want to get rid of these. First of all, these pieces of glass are ground down, um, so they're not sharp, which is nice. Uh, I feel like if I had more experience, I could have like done some really cool art stuff with these, you know? Like, I would love to hang stuff in the glass. In like the window and stuff, um, especially since I've got this UV spray now, it seems like a no-brainer, right, to paint on these. I just don't know if I want to because I don't know what I would do with them after. It would be really difficult to hang such a thing. So those are just off to the side while I think about that. <clears throat> At Michael's I got these. <laughs> I haven't sprayed around doilies for so long. That was like my thing back in the day. I got them because they kind of look like they're made of fabric and I thought that those would last longer. Yeah, so if I use this as like a stencil, they probably won't rip and, and tear and stuff as quickly as the paper ones do. So I just got those for fun, even though I'm not really art journaling much. <coughs> and I got a bunch of these. I just thought it'd be kind of nice just to add some uh, hand-painted tree ornaments. They're not that interesting. I was hoping that I could find ones that they normally have interesting shapes with like a blank, like a center and then a really cool border around it. I was going to paint one of those, but I couldn't find any. <laughs> I think they're just like out of style or something. Maybe they don't do it anymore. So I guess what I could do, since I'm procrastinating, is I could prep these with some ground or something maybe. You gonna make a video, Mom? I am my desk, Mom. I'm just gonna stay here. In my way. Hmm? Why are you so snuggly today? I heard that this stuff reacts badly with alcohol inks, so let's just test it on one of these extra pieces I have laying around. much too cold to be doing that Ugh. but I can't really change the weather can I Maggie? I didn't see any difference I didn't see any reaction but I don't know, let's see it's been the most unproductive week ever uh, like I feel like I've been sitting here for hours but I've only done like two of these and I already don't want to keep going because I'm hungry it's not even quite five yet, and it's night time. It's night time. <laughs> it's quarter to five. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, Maggie. Where are you, Maggie? And I only have this one stupid desk lamp. <laughs> so dark. You can't even. You can't. Even, you can't see nothing. It doesn't really make me like. I really hate making videos in the winter because all my videos just look so dark. Even if I like jack up the brightness it's like 
There's too many harsh shadows everywhere. Mm. Right, Maggie? I even left the UV spray test outside and I don't want to go out and get it because it's cold and I don't care. So it's just going to stay out there forever. Right, Maggie? It's a Christmas cactus in the cave. Oh, I got a cactus bow. It's so handsome, too. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. I just don't know. There we go. Oh, he's so handsome. So handsome. So foggy, Mo. Whoa. 